Hello, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. I got a little bit of news today. I got something on Margaret Thatcher. <clears throat> she was the Prime Minister of England, of London, Britain, whatever we want to call it, uh, during the Reagan administration, those same years they, they shared. They kind of uh, served concurrently. Uh, she was the first woman uh, Prime Minister of that nation. And I think, so far, the only. I can't remember any others, but it doesn't matter. Margaret Thatcher. She was called the Iron Lady. You know, and they uh, recently did a movie uh, on her life, and Meryl Streep portrayed her. Right? And I was thinking about, you know, the Iron Lady. Uh, probably growing up, um, what I heard about her and learned about her on the news served to instill in me the idea that women could be in politics if they were marginally intelligent, um, that they could serve and be good leaders, and that, um, you know, everyone rises to the level of their ability. And I thought, you know, this would be a good video to do in MGTOW because I talk about there being good women and there being real strong women that can actually handle life. And then... Uh, then I, I, I've stepped back from that a bit when I, when I read the quote. And I'm going to let the quote be uh, re-said by uh, Fiorini. She was running for a Republican um, president. And she wanted to quote Margaret Thatcher for some reason. So I'm going to play it. I'm going to let you listen to it. And then we'll go into some more discussion. Add that Margaret Thatcher... One said, if you want something talked about, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. If you want something talked about, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. Um, I just heard that. It's the first time I've ever heard that, somehow. And that's it for Margaret Thatcher. She's out the fucking window, as far as I'm concerned. That is a, um, a piss-poor thing to say, because it makes no sense. So even conservative women, and she's conservative, so that means she's using the logical portion of her brain more than the illogical side. She's thinking and calculating using some reason, because that's how conservative mindsets tend to work. Whereas um, more liberal-minded type people seem to go off of feelings that they have. So I'm not arguing whether one is right or not. I'm talking about Margaret Thatcher. I thought she had some more smarts than that. Well, she apparently doesn't. So let's go over the quote again. If you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. That implies that women are doers and men are just talkers. That completely flies in the face of rational, intelligent thinking. It completely flies in the face of history, of fact, of understood knowledge. It's recorded for all time. Women have done very little historically. Period. So I thought maybe this video should be more about Margaret Thatcher. Kind of a case study in what happens when you have a strong woman in a position of power. Well, she effectively used logic and reason to debate her English counterparts in the House of Commons, or the House of Lords, whichever she was in, I can't recall. And she debated them, and she fought them, and there was sexism, and she stood up against it, and oh, she's so brave. Sure, why not? Why not? But anyone who goes into Parliament, or to Congress here in the United States of America, you are going to be challenged on the logical front. You're going to be challenged in every way possible. You're going to be emotionally challenged. You're going to be psychologically challenged. You're going to be physically challenged. So her doing that as a woman doesn't impress me now that I think about it. As a man's equal, she shouldn't ever even need to make the comparison. She shouldn't need to draw the a distinction or hold herself up as if Oh, she finally made it. A woman has finally done what men have done forever. As if it's a great accomplishment, a huge task. 
So being a strong woman means being an equal to a man. That's as good as they get. Right? That's that's like the the strongest woman in England, the wittiest woman in England, the um the most logical conservative woman in England, Margaret Thatcher, uh was elected and, and put up with that and she persevered, right? She didn't quit. Uh men do that all the time. Men persevere. Men don't quit. Men dominate. Men are witty. They push themselves psychologically. So this notion that strong women are somehow to be um, deferred to or stepped aside. Now granted, Margaret Thatcher was witty enough and strong enough and logical enough to win a lot of her arguments. She was forceful enough or domineering enough. right? And she was elected prime minister. Now that does say something about the woman being a strong character. And so I grant that, right, to her. You know, well done, Iron Lady. But to go and say something like, if you want something said, talk to a man. If you want something done, talk to a woman. That is actually, while being one of her more famous quotes, one of the least intelligent things I've ever heard. Because it implies that women do, and men sit around the yard pecking gravel like hens, while it's the women who have always gotten things done. It flies in the face of men. And believe it or not, back then, even though many men gave her a hard time, many men treated her with kid gloves, soft hands. They gave her a pass because she is a girl. Now, men still do that today. They still give in to women today. Here we are, 10, 20, 30, 35 years later from the time she was first brought in as um, <laughs> prime minister. Prior to that, she served in uh, the House of Lords or House of Commons. So for at least 40 years, 40 years ago, she was being treated by men with soft hands. She was given a break and cut some slack because she's just a girl. Even today, men do that with women. They don't run them into the ground when they try and act like men. That's changing, thankfully. You want equal rights, bitches? You got it. Welcome to the party. We've done this our whole lives. For all eternity, men have to be the ones to stand up. Make a stand. Prove your case. Take the arrows and persevere. For one woman to have done that... And we should celebrate her for all time as the greatest? I don't think so anymore. Maybe the greatest woman, you know. But, but really, Margaret Thatcher's nobody. Not in my book. Not anymore. Not if she says something as stupid as, if you want it said, talk to a man. If you want something done, go see a, you know, talk to a woman. It's, it's asinine to me. It's an insult to the men that allowed her, that were nice to her, that were complimentary to her. Maybe the insult was intended only for those who were unwilling to take a stand. You know, the context of the quote has been lost on me because the insult to my intelligence and to the world is just unfathomable. So this, this video I was going to do about strong women that became about um, knowing your limitations and then should we cut them some slack turned back into a discussion in my head about strong women. When you see a strong woman and you know that she's strong, what should you do with her? Should you treat her with kid gloves? Well, all that's going to do is encourage her to think and continue to think that she can exist on that level. And I deal with women a lot who think they've got their shit together when in fact they don't. And now they defer to me. Because they must. Because it's been well established they cannot stand. Their logic and reason do not hold up. They must defer, otherwise they look like asses because I do not treat them with kid gloves. If they want to throw down, 
it's throwdown time and they lose. Margaret Thatcher got thrown down quite a bit. And to her credit, she got back up. She was a strong woman. Godlike? No. Astounding beyond compare? Not at all. Better than any man at the job? Certainly not. Certainly not. But she was at the time the leader of England. She was at the time a character that the nation got behind. At least a percentage of them. But having a shrill speaking voice and a shrewd mouth doesn't really prove anything, does it? Because I think when we talk about strong women, a lot of us, what we see is a bitch. And I've clearly pointed out, at least in my own life, if not on here yet, that being a bitch is not being a boss. That being the boss is more than just being in charge. It's about leadership. It's about character. The strong women that I know that people call strong basically are just bitches. They fucking snap. They yell. They overreact. They belittle others around them trying to put them in their place. But being in charge, being the boss, right? Doing it like a boss. That doesn't mean being a bitch. It means having confidence and self-respect. It means respecting others. It means having earned the respect of others. So this concept of strong women, I think I'm going negative on it. I don't see a whole lot of evidence for them. Very rare. They're rare animals indeed. Margaret Thatcher was one of them, but she also said a lot of stupid shit, including the quote that I played for you. So I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think of strong women? Do you think that they're like a man? Do you think that they are as close to a man as a woman can get? Are they worth giving special consideration to? Or should they be put to the test as hard or harder than any man? You know, when you see a strong woman, or you hear a strong woman, or you're faced with a strong woman, what do you do with them? What stories do you guys have? Because I know you have a lot of good stories. I'd love to hear a good story about a strong woman, whether she falls on her face or rises above. I don't give a fuck. I'd like to hear your stories about strong women. The ones I continually run into demonstrate time and again that when faced with a tough choice, a tough decision... They do nothing. Unless the answer's obvious. And even then, I listen to strong, smart women say, I need to think about it. Or I'll get back to you on that. Which are the patent answers of, I don't know and I don't want to say anything. Because I don't want to say the wrong thing and be made an ass of by myself. Strong women, are they worth having? Would you have one in your life? This is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. Yeah, I'm in one of those kind of moods. So I'm going to check on out, but I wanted to do this video for you guys. Semper Fi, I have the penis.